All right, guys, what's poppin'? This is Ty Learn, and today we are gonna be doing a how powerful is Metal Bat? And the reason why is because people really just don't know how to put respect on the best hero in the Hero Association's name. And when I say he's the best in the Hero Association, I don't mean in terms of power, but I mean an overall drip. I mean, look at my man Metal Bat. This man is icy as a bitch. No, but in all seriousness, people really just underestimate Metal Bat and just lowball the hell out of him. <laughs> NEVER HIT SWALLOW ONCE! So I'm just overall just tired of this disrespect and lowballing on my boy's name, and so I'm going to step into the ring and power scale Metal Bat from One Punch Man. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the video. Now, to start off, Metal Bat is a character known for getting stronger and stronger constantly via his ability, aka Fighting Spirit, where every time he's damaged, the more his physical abilities increase. On top of this, Metal Bat has a high pain tolerance and overall high resilience to the point so where even when he's basically dead, he still can stand on his own two feet and still keep fighting, such as when he's fighting with the likes of Carnage Kabuto and Garo. Now, with that little introduction out of the way, let's get into his scaling in comparison into the One Punch Man verse and where he stands among with the other S class. Alright, so for starters, I'm going to be diving into the VGS since this scaling is something I definitely think is a good start to get a grasp of how powerful the GOAT Metal Bat is. Now, the VGS is basically an event that takes place right after Season 1 of the anime but before Genos meets Goketsu, where basically Metal Bat is in a simulation and is combating against Carnage Kabuto along with two other S class heroes, that being Darkshine Alloy and Zombie Man. Now the reason why I wanted to bring this fight up is because I wanted to bring up his fight in comparison to other heroes in the VGS event who fights Kabuto, that being G4 Genos. G4 Genos attempted to fight Kabuto, but all we know is a boom went off and Genos just said what in reaction to this, then after this we get a monologue from Genos on how he thought he got stronger, and then he just says, however. Now, based on the context, the implication that we can get from this is that even with the upgrades, Carnage Kabuto is literally bullying Genos, and with this, I would say, at least based off these two fights with Carnage Kabuto, with G4 Genos and Metal Bat, I can say that Metal Bat easily was in there way more against Kabuto than Genos was. And Metal Bat was even being explicitly stated by Zombie Man to have a frontal exchange of blows, and meaning Metal Bat would at least scale to Carnage Kabuto in speed, which should be above Genos, considering it was implied no matter what Genos did, Kabuto just slapped him and Metal Bat should be able to do the same thing, and not to mention Metal Bat scrapped with Kabuto for actually 3 minutes, which would unironically be more impressive than the Genos who just got nagged no matter the upgrades he got. Also Metal Bat just shows raw resilience here, basically getting up immediately after Kabuto incapacitates him, and he just came back up and was ready to keep fighting Kabuto. Now in terms of AP, I wouldn't say Metal Bat would scale to Carnage Kabuto, but I would say in terms of speed, they are definitely matching, and they are definitely relative to each other. And based on this, and not to mention Metal Bat just gets constantly stronger and stronger every single time he takes damage, I would say that G4 Genos would definitely lose to a pumped up Metal Bat. And with the G4 Genos losing to Metal Bat, and G4 Genos being someone who is able to react to not only one G4 laser, but also multiple lasers from G4, I would definitely make a case for Metal Bat being light speed here, since Metal Bat and speed would scale to Carnage Kabuto. With that being said, I would at least put Metal Bat at light speed, and we haven't even gotten to the actual fights that he has in Season 2, and this is only a mere simulation. But anyways, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we can now go over Metal Bat's more recognizable fights, that being with the Demon Level Threats, Garo, and Elder Centipede. We can first start by briefly going over his fight with the two demon level threats who he dominates thanks to his fighting spirit and even resists sleeping powder that instantly knocks out normal humans which is a nice little resistance feat. But other than that and just getting stronger and stronger to the point where he can just wipe them out in one hit, there's really nothing impressive here. It's just showing the audience what Metal Bat is capable of. Eventually we would see even more what Metal Bat is capable of and how much he can really amp himself by fighting the likes of Elder Centipede and Garo. We will first go over Elder Centipede since he fights him first. Anyways, when Elder Centipede arrives, we would actually get him charging at Metal Bat and Metal Bat being able to stop him. 
Being able to stop someone who's the size of Elder Centipede is actually a pretty impressive feat. Reason why is because there is actually a calc based on Elder Centipede's AP just by moving around, which should be around the mountain to large mountain level range. The reason why Metal Bat should scale to this is because Metal Bat not only is able to stop a charging Elder Centipede, but also take multiple attacks from him like it's nothing and even get the jump on him by just smashing his face in with the dragon pummeling. And immediately right after, Elder Centipede just yeets Metal Bat into a building where he would then fight Garo and Metal Bat just gets up just fine. Every single attack that Elder Centipede threw at Metal Bat, he was able to take and able to get back up and was still able to keep on fighting. So based off of these factors, I would at least put Metal Bat in the mountain level range. And like I said before, after getting smacked into a building by Elder Centipede, he is forced to fight Garo right after. Before their fight even begins, Garo tries to basically attack Metal Bat from the side and Metal Bat is able to react and block the attack with his bat. By the way, this is a Metal Bat who isn't nearly as pumped in fighting spirit as Metal Bat later on in the Garo fight, but we do know that at the beginning, Metal Bat was actually not pumped at all, and he was actually very fatigued, but then he got stronger and stronger and stronger, which means the Metal Bat that reacted to Garo was the fatigued one. You can make a case that Garo was fatigued here, but then we would move on with the fight with Metal Bat being able to catch Garo lacking multiple times and even able to still react to him even when Garo saying, all right, let's play, and he's seemingly getting a little bit more serious. And not to mention, even after the fight, Garo's hands were shaking from just blocking Metal Bat's attacks, meaning Metal Bat's attacks might have potentially even harmed Garo, had Garo not outskill and completely hard counter Metal Bat. And yes, you heard me right, outskill and hard counter. I don't care if Metal Bat never hit Garo once, it doesn't matter, that's not the point of this fight, that's not the thing that you should be taking out of this fight. What you should be getting out of this fight is that Metal Bat just has some dumb resilience and is just constantly gaining power and speed, even able to tank his own attack reflected back at him from Garo himself, and even able to push him back and catch him lacking multiple times and being able to react to him in speed, and the only reason Garo was able to even stop him was because of his raw skill. And also forgot to say that Garo even pointed it out that Tank Top Master and Metal Bat are just cavemen when it comes to skill. Like, Metal Bat is literally just a dude with a bat who can just get stronger and stronger. That's all he is. He doesn't have any skill. And because Garo, one of the more skilled people in the verse, fought someone with no skill, that being Metal Bat, obviously Garo's gonna have some type of advantage in skill. He was definitely in there against Garo, and he wasn't getting completely stomped for his circumstances. Quite literally, these are the worst circumstances for someone like Metal Bat, and he was still doing fine, and he almost got the jump on him and could have killed him, had his sister not been there. Point is, Metal Bat was hard countered, and him losing to Garo isn't much of an anti-feat. And you know what's funny about Garo and another person I talked about, that being Elder Centipede? These are two characters that fight Genos, with weakened Garo being at a power disadvantage, but also being able to kind of keep up in speed because he was so weakened, and Elder Centipede who does kind of bull on Genos and resist his cannon attack with no damage at all not even being pushed. However, Genos is able to not only break the Centipede's tooth, but also able to kind of push him back. I think with this, we could definitely say that Metal Bat is at least above the likes of post Goketsu Genos, and he still isn't even a full-powered Metal Bat who gets even stronger and faster than the Metal Bat who fights Elder Centipede against Garo. Metal Bat is at his most pumped against Garo when he's about to do that final swing or whatever. And I should also even say that the Elder Centipede was actually able to resist Genos for a little bit until Genos eventually was able to break his teeth. However, with Metal Bat, Metal Bat and Elder Centipede didn't even contend. When he was charging, Metal Bat was able to even stop him. And by the way, Genos is the one going on the offensive against Centipede, and he's still able to briefly contend before the tooth is fully cracked, whereas Metal Bat was actually stopping an Elder Centipede who was going on the offensive. So I would definitely say that this would definitely make a case for Metal Bat being above Genos, and with this, he should at least be above the likes of Tank Top Master, who is equal to Genos in power. Along with probably being above the likes of Bang in power, since Bang could only really do damage to Elder Centipede with Bomb in the mix. So, I'm saying that Bang is weaker than Metal Bat in power, but I wouldn't say Bang would lose in a fight against Metal Bat. It would kind of just be like Metal Bat versus Garo, but imagine a Garo who's much more skilled than that version of Garo. That's basically Bang vs Metal Bat, but anyways, in conclusion, Metal Bat is not one of the weaker members of the S class, but rather one of the stronger ones. And overall, people need to stop disregarding the context of this man's fights and put some respect on his name. 
Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go eat a Nutella sandwich with some orange juice combined with milk and go to sleep. Good night. Well, looks like you guys made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Your support means more than you think, and really, I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share with your friends. Also, comment other what-ifs you would like to see on the channel, or anything you liked about this what-if. If you guys do want to hang out with me and other content creators off YouTube, be sure to join the Discord, which will be linked in the description, where we basically do debates, game nights, watch movies, watch shows, and overall, just hang out and chill. With that being said, I'm going to to get out of here and leave you guys alone thank you guys for watching once again my name is ty learn peace out bye